Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about which platform is better for Veskin, XR or GT. And uh, I used to have GT, I used to have XR a few years ago, actually a little over a few years ago, I switched it to Vesk, zero regrets. I really love this platform. It's pretty much open platform. You can build it whatever you desired. And if you are about to build your uh, dream machine and you're probably wondering which platform is going to be more uh, suitable for VESC, uh, which platform is more capable, well, then probably this video is going to be uh, helpful for you. On the weight department, uh, XR in a stack configuration is 27 pounds, GT in a stack configuration 35 pounds. Pretty much 8 pounds right there, XR it's lighter. And someone from us gonna, probably was gonna say eight pounds is not much. Believe me, eight pounds is a lot. Eight pounds is more than than GT battery pack itself. But not only that, GT not only heavy, also the center of gravity is higher. Uh, center of gravity is very important uh, to be at, for the board how stable it is, how it will perform on. Uh, on road off road because the more the higher you go the more tp board it gets that's uh rules of physics and you not can go around that <laughs> yeah but uh, not only center of gravity on the gt is higher because the foot placement is higher also due to our rails it's much taller the ground clearance is lower then let's speak about motor on ixr original motor well here let me grab it it's a six inch rim diameter on a gt it's 6.5 for someone probably is gonna say it's not gonna make any different well it does make a difference by getting a bigger size of a rim for same size of the tire that means the tire will be lower profile low profile lower profile tire it's good for sports cars but not for off-road or all-to-terrain vehicle due to a low profile it's gonna ride like shit it's gonna perform much worse than a taller tire and less comfortable then also question is which board will be easy to convert it to VESC Luckily, thanks to flow wheel, thanks to Fungineers, they make a conversion kit as well for GT. But XR still more options, more uh, more uh, conversion kits I, I should call available. Like this one I bought two years ago from Makers PV. Uh, I mean, uh, pre-built a box, fully assembled, uh, pre-flushed just you install it do some uh, some little cal calibration and you're good to go also fungineers they make a pre-built box or, or and it's not really pre-built it's a fully assembled box uh with tour uh, 300 and it's uh, uh fungineers actually it's much better box than this one this one is 3d printed the quality wise is not that great fungineers it's a cast aluminum or machined aluminum box I believe really nice looking yeah, and tour 300 is capable go up to 20 cells. GT has a bigger battery box. GT will hold, uh, well, currently from factory it's holding 18S two piece uh, of uh, 21700 cells. And also I believe in that box, I'm not 100% positive because I've never done that. But I believe it can hold it 20S two piece of 21700 cells. Uh, with XR battery box, with original XR battery box, it will fit uh, 20S two piece of 18650s. 21700, 20S two piece will not fit. There is an option. Uh, you can get a torque box. Torque box is a uh, aftermarket battery box like like i got here this one is a special animal <laughs> i made it yeah but i just show you i'm gonna show you how the torque box looks right there i mean you probably can see it 
and pretty much torque box can hold it 18 s two piece and pretty much the same battery pack as a, a stock gt yeah yeah i mean the way i did this one because this is my first long range xr i built it 18 s three piece of 21 700 cells and the molly cells p42a same cells as gt and this this guy was really amazing uh, from beginning uh, I mean not from beginning the way I build it uh, two torque box uh, really awesome of course with this modification build you have to modify it a lot of stuff you have to modify it rails you have to modify it foot pad for smaller uh, connector because there's no room simply but in the end it turns 800 uh, 15, uh, 816 watt battery capacity and it's only 24 pounds a pound lighter than GT uh, it still have original motor XR motor with this setup with 18S it, it does feels like it twice powerful as GT twice longer range yeah and uh, and it's lighter and it's more stable because the center of gravity I mean center of uh, gravity yeah center of gravity it, it's lower better ground clearance more stable board six inch hub you, you you just can imagine what kind machine that this one was compared to my GT that's why when I build that one with well, this one which currently I, I take it apart it's gonna do some modification I recognize it it's way way above GT and there's no reason for me to even keep it GT anymore my kids didn't like it didn't want to write my friends didn't like it after when they tried my VESC I mean <laughs> pretty much my GT was almost for a year just sitting collecting the dust uh, this guy uh, which I call my dream machine this one is really amazing it has extended rails WTF rails it has a uh, super flux uh, high torque motor it has a BTG tire it has a 20s three piece split pack cells I mean uh, battery same way as this one this wheel is currently holding a world title for biggest battery capacity 1080 watt and I already been asked if something like that can be done on a GT yes it can but this monster wheel the way you see it it's 41 pound with super flux gt pretty much if you build it with gt it will be instead 41 it will be 46 pounds because gt gt frame or gt gt gts frame it's five pounds heavier than xr well guys pretty much that's all i got for this video I hope it was interesting, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.